find you. Ricky, the Rippers are after Boozer. Deke? No, 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 no. Hey, hey, don't shoot. It's Deacon. My wife sent us to find you. Rippers! Keep going. I'll keep them off you. We need to get back to the camp. Don't worry, I got this. We gotta stop them. Keep going! Listen, listen, look at me, look at me. I'm looking for Boozer and Schizo. Do you know them? Do you know where they are? I don't know. I don't know. And they, everything just, just happened so, so fast. They, they, they were everywhere. They, the Rippers, they were all over the, the camp. And they were huh? torturing us. They, yeah. they took me. They, they took Chad and Eric and my... Hey, listen, what's your name? Nicole. Nicole, do you know how to use a gun? Yeah. Okay. Let's get that tower up there. I want you to go up there. I want you to lay down. If any rippers come through here, you blow the goddamn heads off. I'm gonna go find your friends. Okay? Go. more rippers coming in through the marsh. Got it? You're a godsend. I was praying so hard. Good. Then go. Go! Alright, Nicole. I did my part. Now you do yours. Boozer. Boozer. Ricky. Anyone. Deke. I thought I lost you. Ricky. Where's Boozer? Where's Schizo? I don't know what's going on. I saw Schizo with Boozer. Where, Ricky? They're breaking into the infirmary. Damn it! Hold on, I'm heading there now. Wait for me. Deacon? No! Damn it, Ricky. Oh, 
Don't. Let her go. Please. Don't. You're all lost. Lost. No, 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 no. <sighs> We we're gonna stay inside. I, I heard someone yelling. I just, I just couldn't let him die. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up, hold up. What the hell was that? Oh. It's over. Yeah, Iron Mike negotiated a ceasefire. Wait, what? What the hell is going on? Let's go find out. You okay? Come on. I'm sorry about everything. Oh God, me too. Mike, this is all just a big misunderstanding. They only want you attacked my camp. Murdered my people! You call that a misunderstanding? Mike. You broke our treaty. You come onto our land, you we steal our supplies! Deal the you attack you, you attack my son people! Of a bitch. Mike, listen to me! I made a deal! Hey, whoa, 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 whoa! Uh, weapons, get low, weapons brother. down! Get low, hold. Hi, right, Skizzo, I'd like to hear about that deal. Oh, God damn it, just wait! Why don't you tell him? Wait. Tell him how you sold us out to them. What the hell do you want me to Oh, freaking god damn it, Skizzle. Why don't you tell him or I'm gonna cut your throat? Okay. Okay! I made a deal with Carlos. Okay? Mike. But it wasn't. It wasn't to sell out the camp. I swear. It was just them. The two of them. Him and Boozer. That's all that he wants. Just them. Yeah, how's that deal working out for you? I did it to save the camp, Mike. I did it to fix shit, to restore the treaty he broke. Mike. Zeke, it's good to see you breathing, but let him go. Yeah. Deke. Okay. Okay, so... Is what he says true? About you making a deal? Only lost ten lies. Yeah. It's true. Okay. So we give you Deke. William. Biker boats, whatever the fuck you want to call them. But you leave Lost Lake alone. You will rest in peace. You have my word. And that's something, isn't it? Your word. Grand fucking Poobah, the R.I.P. Hey, hey, we come here under a flag of truth. Truce, my ass! This is my camp. My people. You don't come here with some blood-stained flag of truce and demand shit! Not from me! Now, I don't care what you think these boys have done. I don't care why you want them. All I know is you're not getting them. We had a deal. No, this is the deal, Carlos. And it's the only one you're getting. Now you take your people, and you get the hell out of Lost Lake. Or we all die together. Right here. Right now. No treaty stands. Always has. From where I'm standing. You son of a bitch! Loser! All right. Escort them out of my fucking camp. Hey, uh... We ain't through. Carlos. Get low, brother. Deke, <laughs> stand aside. Stand aside! I just want to say... Take him to lockup. Oh, fuck that, we'll take care. Get off him! I keep trying to tell you boys something. And you won't listen. This is not how we do things around here. 
We do not barter with lives, and we do not murder people in cold blood. Get him out of here. Get off me. We're gonna give him a fair trial, like civilized people. And he's gonna get what's coming to him. I'm not sorry, Mike. I'm not. God damn it, I tried. I tried to save his camp. The Rippers won't stop. Carlos is not gonna stop. You hear me? They won't stop! You know who that was? Jesse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess being a cult leader at the end of the world wasn't enough to keep him busy. He was after some payback as well. That motherfucking son of a bitch. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm guessing he's known about us for quite some time. That night at Crazy Willie's, that wasn't some random Ripper attack. And just because it was gonna sell us out to him? Where'd they take him? I'm gonna find him and break his fucking oh, neck. Hold up, please, Schizo, for right now. Get your gear together, some Molotovs, all the ammunition you can carry. But what are you thinking? And I already know it's a bad idea. Yeah, it's a bad idea. idea, but we're gonna do it anyway. I need to go and get the explosives from the lodge and then that court from Schizo's cabin. Meet me at the bridge. I'll explain on the way. Hey, you good with this, brother? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I just gotta get this back to my cabin with no one seeing me. What do we got? Gotta get the deck cord. Schizo's cabin. Let's see what you got, Schizo, old buddy. How'd I ever trust this asshole? Because it won't be needing this. <sighs> Gotta go see Addy, get this arm fixed up. Can't let it get infected. We know what that means. I can't do this anymore. 
It's okay. I'm fine. What's going on? I'm a goddamn veterinarian. I went to school to cure colic and heaves and hoof disease. Does this look like a fucking hoof to you? Addie, no, Addie. you saw what happened to Boozer. I can't do this. Hey, shh. Addie. so many wounded. Addie. And so many dying. Addie. Deacon, I am not a doctor. Okay, maybe not. But you're all we've got. So Eddie's not a doctor, huh? Okay, so you're not a doctor, you still saved Boozer's life. That's gotta count for something. Hey, Deke. So I wanna go check on the explosives to make sure, you know, the Rippers didn't steal them, and then I went to Schizo's cabin to check on the deck cords, but I should have just come straight here and saved some time. Get the hell out of here, Ricky. Guess we can go blow up that cave, right? I'll come with you. <sighs> when I was a kid, my dad found a rat's nest underneath one of our sheds. You want to know what he did? Can't even guess. Well, I waited till morning. They'd all be asleep. He laid a piece of plywood over the hole and told me to go get the garden hose. And he said to me, I never forget what he said to me. He said the best way to kill a rat's nest is to drown him. You can blow up the reservoir above the camp? Oh, that's an idea. Deacon, you can't. They want to rest in De peace, I'm going to help them out. Deacon, you can't do that. Why is that? Because Iron Mike? Is this some fucking treaty? You know, I want to cut Schizo's throat, but he's right about one thing. Carlos ain't going to stop. Rippers ain't going to stop. And you know it. Are you sure this isn't personal? Fuck yeah, it's personal. Boozer, I'm heading to the gate. You ready? Way ahead of you, brother. Okay, I'm almost there. Nice rifle. Oh, yeah, a present from Schizo. Remind me to be there when you give it back to him. You'll be there. <laughs> Damn schizo. So what are we gonna do with the bastard? I mean, we're not letting Iron Mike put him on trial, are we? No, we're not. All right, so what's the plan? I know the area pretty well. Sarah, uh, she worked out of a lab south of Iron Butte Ranch. I used to ride out there, pick her up for lunch. Cut her ride on some of those back roads. Jesse. Carlos, whatever the hell he's calling himself. He's taken over the old golf course at Resort. Just south of the lodge is the Crescent Lake Reservoir. Now we blow that dam, that lake's gonna flood down into the valley and it's gonna drown them all, like rats. Okay, but isn't the lodge up on a hill? Yeah, yeah, flood probably won't do much to it, but it'll do enough damage to the rest of the river compound to take out most of his men. And if Jesse survives, he won't see us coming. You got it. Now we just gotta figure out how to get into the Iron Butte Valley without being seen, yeah? I'll get us there. You just hang on. Oh, 
south from here. Following you.
this easy. Nope. Okay. Hey, what are you doing? Figured I'd take this bag of explosives down there and ask him if they didn't mind us, you know, blowing them the fuck up. Boozer. Look, you stay up here with Skizzo's rifle and keep him off me while I set the charges. Oh, hold, hold on. Look, I got this. Not much good in a firefight, but I can plant these charges. I've set demo charges before, Boozer, in Afghanistan. I know exactly where to put them. Good. Tell me where to go when I'm down there. We doing this? Yeah. All right. Okay, I'm gonna be up in this tower. Should give me a good view of the entire dam. I'll wait here until you get up there. See the second set of scaffolding on top of the dam? Yeah, I see it. Heading over. All right, I'm setting the first charge. Could make something out of this. Done. All right, I'm moving on to the next one. Nice job, boys. Man. Keep going. Rippers.
mock me? I got it. It's not like I'm just standing around up here. Foot charge. Sorry. <laughs> well, that never gets old, does it? Let's uh, let's go find Jesse. Yeah. Brother, you, uh, you did a hell of a job back there. Yeah? I thought I was done for a couple of times. I'm sorry about that. What the hell are you talking about? This is the most alive I've felt since... Uh, shit. You remember when we got trapped by that horde in Tumalo? We ain't done yet. How many you think we killed? I don't know. They had it coming, right? Yeah, they had it coming. Guess we all do. All right, looks like we go in on foot from here. You want to stay? Keep any stray rippers from ripping off my bike? Yeah, I don't think we need to worry about that. And fuck that. This, this is on Jesse. We wanted some payback. We wanted some fucking payback. Come on, let's head to the lodge. Like I said, right behind you. Jesus. This must be what it looked like after Noah's flood. Came and washed away all the wicked. Yeah, except God had nothing to do with this one. Yeah. You get my point. Oh, shit! More rippers. How the hell did they survive? Oh, they didn't. They just don't know it yet.
Look out! Okay. You covered! I see more jacked up than usual.
That's not gonna open. There's no way you're getting up there. <laughs> yeah. God damn it. Here. He'll... I'll boost you up. Okay, listen. If something happens to me, there's a trail not far from here. No, 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 no. Listen, that is not Carlos up there, okay? Not this founder, rest in peace. It's fucking Jesse Williamson. Fucking low-life piece of shit scumbag who got what was coming to him. All right. Now you fucking go up there and kill that son of a bitch. Jesse Williamson, brought low. Oh, do you remember back in the day? You and Boozer held me down. Watch it burn the flesh from my back. Those, those memories kept me from being free. Jack. Jack thought I was crazy. And I knew. I knew what you were. shit again, you know. I gotta say, shoveling shit and you know, pulling weeds. I don't know, maybe it isn't such a bad way to spend the day. Yeah. Wow. With Jesse gone, how many do you think are left? People that we knew from before, I mean. No one. Who said there's no one left? Shut. Sorry. Uh, yeah. Me too. Come on, let's get the yeah, fuck out of here. Well, like I said, I... I know we haven't talked in a few years. I guess I disfigured with my Elizabeth being there with you and all. There probably wasn't much point in me yammering away at you. Now and then. And what with all hell breaking loose, I, I thought maybe you weren't there. Or you just didn't give a shit. Pardon my language. I guess that's why I'm here. See, I still don't know. I hope you're there. I hope there's some reason for all this shit we're living through. That's all. We'll, we'll, we'll talk again some other time. Oh, um, amen.
Deke? Uh, <clears throat> yeah, Ricky told me that I could find you here. Oh! Uh, ah, it's just these knees of mine, you know. It's reason I haven't been praying all these years. Yeah, I'm not a... I'm not a church-going type. Even after living through that shitstorm in Sherman's camp. But now, after all this, I just thought, hell, I... Maybe it, now it's the time. I, uh... I didn't have a choice, Mike. Oh, everybody's got a choice, Deke. Until they're dead. It's either us or them. <laughs> it's always us or them. Always. You know the reason we're going to hell? Is we can't figure out that us is every goddamn soul that ain't walking around in shit-stained pants trying to eat us! All right, you know what? You may not like it, but the world is what it is. Yeah, it is. Praying ain't gonna change that. Wishing that it was something else ain't gonna make it that way, Mike. Wishing ain't got anything to do with it. We make the world what it is by what we do. All of us. I let him go. Schizo. Ain't no way he was getting a fair trial. You let him go. Told him to ride out, not come back. <sighs> Jesus Christ, Mike, do you have any idea what the fuck you've done? Yeah. I stopped another killing. And you know what? I guess I'm good with that. No, this is your clutch. I know where the clutch is. Uh, do you want me to show you how to do this or not? Yes, but I know where the clutch is. Okay, fine. All right, you do it yourself, okay? Fine. Hey, hey, hey! What are you doing? You can't park here. Uh, I'm just here to pick it's up private Sarah property. We're... Now turn around, get the hell out of here. Come on. Okay. <laughs> Move it. Yep. Uh, uh, okay, uh, you know what, though? Uh, I think I'm just gonna wait right here. You can go back to doing your guard the cornfields thing. This is Officer Moore at the gate. We got an issue here. <laughs> hey, listen, asshole, this is a restricted area. I told you, get the hell out of here. Okay. Hey, hey, you just wait right there. I told you, move it. It's like I was trying to say, I'm just here She's to pick up... Did you not see that sign? Oh, look at that. That's kind of hard to miss. I'm authorized to use deadly force. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Hey, whoa, hey, whoa, what's going on? <laughs> I'm sorry, Miss Whitaker. It's, it's what, fine, I, Do you know this asshole? Yeah, he's with me. He's with me. Sorry, ma'am. I, I on, didn't know go. that... It's fine. Honestly, I apologize. Shh. Oh, and Jim! Deacon. I'm not with her. She's with me. <laughs> Hold on tight. Why do you always do that? Do what? Act like such a dick. Oh, come on. He started it. What are you, five? Hey, watch the clutch. Remember, you gotta give it enough gas, rev up the RPMs. I got this. Yeah, I can hear. Where are we headed? Over to the dam. That's a nice, quiet road, right? You driving? No. Are we still going out tonight? You said something might come up. Uh, crap, yeah. Uh, Boozer and the boys want to ride down to Klamath State, visit Jack. So you're gonna blow me off to go see some guy in prison? Jack's not some guy. 
I know, I know. I was kidding. Oh shit, look out! <laughs> But every time I'm on a bike with you, some idiot in a truck tries to run us off the road. Oh, my God. No, 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 no. Listen, listen, listen. You did great. You did great. Uh, most people, they would have panicked. They would have oversteered, and that would have gotten us killed. I almost did get us killed. I was... <sighs> no, no. I wasn't paying attention, and I was distracted. Hey, it's okay. It's okay. Just breathe. You're okay. Wait a second. What did, what did you mean, distracted? No, it's just stuff going on at work. It's nothing. I just... Oh. Okay. Oh, I just thought maybe you uh, saw my new patch. What? No. No, Matt? Wait, you, you quit the club? No, I didn't quit the club. I would never quit the club. Uh, uh, nomad, what it means is, uh, um, well, I'll be less involved from now on. Deke, I didn't ask you to do that. Oh, I know, I know. And if you had, I would have said no. <laughs> you ready to try this again? Yeah. I mean, no, but yeah, I will. Thank you for saving my life. <laughs> well, you know, I do what I can. Hey, hey, the clutch, the clutch. I know what the clutch is. Okay, no, no, the... Deacon. So, uh, do you think your parents are gonna come? To the wedding? I don't know. I mean, you know, I, I thought if I stepped back from the MC that, uh... I don't think it's gonna matter to them, Deacon. But you're gonna, you're gonna at least tell them. Yeah, if you want me to. Look, it's just... I'm not gonna change who I am and who you are to make my uptight, middle-class parents happy. Okay. Look out! I see them. Hey, are they... are they headed to your work? Oh, shit. What about the MC? Are any of them coming now that you've gone Nomad? Oh, uh, I don't know. Uh... It's probably been a while since any of them set foot in a chapel, uh, and you really want 27 Harleys rolling up in that little church in Marion Forks? Yeah. You know what? As a matter of fact, I do. Uh, okay. What's going on? I don't know. Miss Whitaker. Yeah. She's been trying to get a hold of you, says it's urgent. It's always urgent. Let him know I'll be right there. Okay. I gotta go. Hey, hey. <sighs> Sorry. It's fine. It's probably just a fire alarm or something small. Okay. How come dead? <clears throat> Love you. Um, just call me later. I'm sorry. Whatever. Addy, whatever, Ricky. I'm sorry. God damn. Clearance. Clearance. Uh, O'Brien, this is St. John. Come back. O'Brien, this is St. Just answer your goddamn radio! St. John, didn't think I'd hear from you again. Yeah, neither did I. All right, listen, that night you bugged out. You told me that you didn't take any civilians. You just took uh, Nero personnel, feds, people with clearance. I told you. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Listen to me. Sarah, my wife, she had clearance. She had her ID badge with her the night that I put her on your chopper. I so don't think that they just do me a favor, look it up. Sarah Irene Whitaker. She worked at Cloverdale. She had federal clearance. She was doing, uh, I don't know, research, pharmaceutical. I don't know what she, the hell she was okay, doing. Just okay. do me. I'll see what I can find. Okay, great. O'Brien, remember, you owe me. Yeah, yeah. O'Brien out.